Hello everybody! A little video to say thank you for those of you who practice kindness because it goes a long way and you are much 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 appreciated. And uh, I have a bit of a messy hair <laughs> because my hair is being funny at the moment. Um, but I wanted to make this video really really to honor those of you that make an effort every single day to just be kind and to be thoughtful and to be like mindful of other people and you do that every single day because it goes a long way and i know sometimes when you do that and you um like express that on a day-to-day -day basis that sometimes it may feel like it goes unnoticed but it doesn't go unnoticed whatsoever and i just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to you for doing that and if anybody who's watching this is willing to grow then what i want to say as well is that Think for yourself, how much kindness do you exercise or practice on a day-to-day -day basis? And I'm going to do the same. Just think to yourself, how many moments on the day do I choose kindness over being right or over being cool or over being ego-driven in your actions? Because something like that is extremely important and you never know the effect that it may have on other people, but more so the effect that it will have on yourself because the more you practice kindness and the more you do good things it is going to come back and it's going to come back amplified uh, hello janine so nice to have you here if you have the cove uh, oh the choice there we go if you have the choice between right and kind always choose kind yes 100 percent. who was it that said that again was it jim Rohn? Or was it someone else? I can't remember. Hey, Neven, nice to have you here. We also have Spurs Africa. We have Sorao 3. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to say that. And again, for a moment of growth, just think to yourself, how often in my life do I do that? And is there room for improvement? Are there moments where you choose not to be kind, not because you want to be unkind, but you just are triggered in a way and therefore it's very easy to fall back onto your normal uh, normal routine, which perhaps is more defensive rather than kind. And if that is the case and you're open to grow, then see, okay, how can I implement being kind instead? How can I maybe take a breath? Maybe count a few seconds and choose to respond in a way that is more mindful of the other person who perhaps has gone through some things of them themselves and might really need your kindness right now for the next things that they have to face because it's a very small thing to do to just choose okay i'm gonna be kind it could even be that you are right and the other person is not right but you don't have to prove that to anybody that's a very important thing for everyone to be aware of and besides that, I also wanted to say a big thank you to everybody that commented and said congratulations or happy birthday to my dad. Hoo ha hoo, and a super lovely celebration here in beautiful Netherlands. <laughs> um, and I guess that was it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for your kindness. And also, yeah, really don't underestimate the effects of it. And also don't underestimate, maybe I should say that too, don't underestimate the effects of unkindness as well. Because still to this day, sometimes for me, um, as a company reaching out to thousands of people all the time, uh, we receive some amounts of unkindness. And still to this day, it really does hurt me. Um, it's not easy to cope with whether these are people that we don't engage with a lot um, or whether these are people that we actually engage with a lot, whether that's through our events or otherwise. It really does hurt when someone just says something completely unkind and also completely without real merit or reason or good grounds. It doesn't make any sense. Like for instance, sometimes when we send an, an email out, it's like responses like, you guys are a scam and this and that and stop doing these things and blah, 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 blah. And then people spend so much time doing that and if you were just to use that same time to either focus on yourself and grow yourself, you'd be successful, <laughs> actually. But also, if you spent at least half the time that you write that email to actually check the stuff that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and how many people we help, you would know for yourself that there's no scam to be found. So it's just these things sometimes. And this is the small scale that is like not as significant. But then there's the other skills as well, where people actually 
you know, choose to follow the path of fear. And then when someone gets a little bit out of balance, then resort to, you know, unkind responses just because they're scared or just because of whatever reasons there might be. But you're never too important to be kind. And you shouldn't, one shouldn't, I shouldn't, all of us shouldn't just do that without taking into account what the effects of it are. So both ways, it works both ways. If you focus on doing kind things, you don't probably even know how large that effect can be of your kindness. But also if you more frequently do the unkind thing or the, let's say, negative, uh, mean, uh, short type of responses, then you might not even know how much it does go to hurt people. Even if it's not at all true, like when someone calls us a scam, it's obviously not true, but it still hurts because I'm like, how could you think that? Just have a look. Just have a look. Follow my Instagram. Check our events. Check all of the students that we support. Like, how could you even think that? It's really, it's really weird. But then, yeah, it does affect me. And I'm not the only one who gets affected by it. But yeah, that's my words for today. So, hoo-ha-hoo -hoo to everybody that practices kindness. And hoo-ha-hoo -hoo for those of you that perhaps because of this video choose to be a bit more kind um, than you were. So that's it for me today. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy weekend and keep doing the right things because when you do, the right things will come to you amplified.